and welcome to a look at Disposis, uh, which it, it just came out today. It's a first-person shooter. It takes about 30 minutes to finish, is uh, at least what it said. Game modifiers. Eh, we don't need to change anything. Father Mandus, armed only with his sacred crucifix and the hallowed verses of his Bible, embarks on a daring crusade to vanquish the malevolent presence that lurks within the cursed confines of the Williams Mansion. Ooh, sounds exciting. The power of Michael Jackson compels you. For Mandis the first, I regret to inform you that I have arrived too late. The evil has spread through every corridor, room, and floor of this cursed house. Only the mercy of our Lord can help us now. Remember the most important verse from the book of the Lord, John 0909. I have no idea what that is. I read the Bible more than once. The, the, definitely a book. Uh, use the left click or right trick to shoot your crucifix at the enemy and right button to reload. <laughs> All right. Hello. I kill you with Jesus. I did. I totally killed him. But the power... Of the crucifix. Exactly how, um, you know. The. Oh god. I walked into fire. Terrible choice. Uh, but exactly how everything is intended. Can I, um. Okay, I, I think that's absolutely hilarious that I reload the crucifix. Uh, with more. <laughs> with more, I don't know. <laughs> Stealth. Can they, like, shoot the fire? What do we do? The door's locked. Also locked. Still locked. Yeah. Uh, 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 we'll just run through the fire. Well, running through the fire was the wrong choice. Man, did I just, like... Oh, sorry, dude. I gotta, I gotta shoot you. I, am I supposed to get through that way? Because if that is how you're supposed to do it, that's pretty lame. Manage, you'll have several moments from now on where you will feel too weak to continue. Remember that the grace of the Lord is always upon us. And the book contains his teachings to heal you. Facts 312. Press the F key or X on gamepad to read verse from the Bible and hear yourself. Ah, the power of the Bible. Not quite enough to heal you of all your wounds, but enough to make you slightly less in pain. Wait. Oh, okay, for a second there, I thought I was going to have to go back in the fire. Uh-oh, we get another dude. Oh, now we get a dead dude. I feel like killing everybody is the wrong choice. da 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 da, -da. Alright, so we're in a house of Germans, uh, because... I think it means, like, the in German, right? D? Diotzen, right? That's like a band. I don't know. Whatever. Man, just remember that those with a sense of exploration and curiosity will always be rewarded. All right. Well, I'm, I'm definitely trying to be curious. All right, we got the power of the poltergeist protecting us as well. I'm really happy about the environmental hazards. Man, doesn't ever find a way to open those damn doors. I hope you have more luck to find a way to open them. I'm sure they will be worth it. Are you talking about these doors, my dude? Ooh, what's this? Can I hang myself? I guess I can't. Probably for the best, but oh, that was tempting. Oh shoot, this dude's like throwing demon crosses at me. Is it demon crosses or is it just upside down Jesus? I never did understand like the whole crucifix thing. 
Like the crucifix is supposed to be, I mean, like, anyway, mandates I have found the source of the evil in this mansion. It's those cursed books. No one should use those cursed books, but it's too late for me. They have me cornered. It's my end. Now you must be the champion of our Lord. You must destroy the evil that resides here before it's too late. All right, so don't die, because if you die, you have to start over. That's okay. These guys follow me? Yeah, the uh I'm gonna take them back to the this little spot. Work smarter, not harder. It's like that one time in the Bible, instead of like waiting until children grew up, they just threw a whole bunch of babies in fire. Yeah. I could totally just spend the time here talking about really messed up things that have happened in the Bible, but I think that's just like to kind of symph you know, uh, emphasize that it's unlikely that, um, you know, the biblical heroes in the Bible would actually be considered heroes by anyone's standards today. And likely not considered a hero, you know, back, you know, when the, 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 the bunch of old dudes were uh, writing the Bible. There was probably a lot of people that were like, yeah, this this guy sounds kind of awful. Or individual. But he does apparently have given me um, the equivalent of a, of a gun. Seems like a very American thing. Like, I figure I must be in America because, I mean, what's more American than a crucifix that shoots bullets? And a man who can't solve puzzles. Um. Okay, I thought I I, fa I definitely found a key, but apparently I need somewhere to unlock it. But I don't know where to unlock it. No, don't heal yourself. Oh, we didn't need to use the power of healing just yet. Well, that's like super unfortunate. I guess priests don't, like, believe in things like flashlights. I feel as if we would have brought a flashlight, things would have been much better. Yeah, oh. oh, well, that was easy. I have solved the problem. So the main reason I wanted to play this game is because, um... I've, I just finished, like, season three of the show, Evil, and I really, really enjoyed it. And, um, so I've been, like, on a little kick lately of, of playing some stuff that's kind of, I guess, edit, you know, somewhat religious in nature. I don't know. It's, maybe that's, maybe that counts. Anyway, you break open my house, you split the wall, strange light pours in, I cannot see your face, but I know it is you. But I, I don't know who it is. Much a bigger dude. I feel bad that we're punishing him just because he's trying to like work out and get some exercise done. I'm secretly hoping we are going to get like some kind of like shotgun cross. You know, a crucifix that shoots, like, a very concentrated dose of uh, Jesus crystals or whatever these are. I don't really know. I mean, I guess we could just say they're crucifixes, but I mean, like, giving them a, a funnier name seems like way more entertainment. I 
Oh man, maybe you should have donated to the church. Maybe then I would have helped you. <laughs> and it's so bad. Oh man. All right. Okay. I will try to focus on just um, playing the game instead of making fun of the uh, church. E word try. I'm kind of still mostly going to make fun of the church. But I will try to cut that back just a little bit and switch on over to focusing to our experience of Priesty McPriesty Face, who is, oh god, stuck in a corner, uh, but um, who's out here trying to cleanse this building like that lady from Poltergeist, Poltergeist where she was like, this house is clear, and then it wasn't clear, like, or clean. She was a charlatan. But man, Poltergeist was an amazing movie. Like, I don't, it's like one of my favorites. It's like super creepy. Oh man, he shot his own dude. Oh, now you know they're bad guys because. You know, they, they they shot their own dude. I will say, though, their attack is uh, pretty cool. Like, I think it's funny that they're also shooting crucifixes. Because I feel like that means if I was to turn my crucifix upside down, then I would shoot it green. And I wonder if I, sh if I moved it to any other angle, if it could be blue or something else. That would be pretty cool. I got a key. I don't know that I've run into anywhere that requires the key. Alright, we gotta go find the book to cleanse it. Oh. Well, that was that. And uh, that'll teach you to exercise. I just wanna, like, go over here and turn this dude upside down. That way he shoots the same thing as me, and we could use, I could use him to uh, basically help me fight the bad guys. So, I mean, because if you look at the book from this... Well, I can't look at it from this way, but... But if we hold the book upside down, then it's not like a bad book, it's a good book. Alright. That went well. Summer, red wine, and that song you loved. The cat whose name I can't remember. Vanilla and traffic by the park. All come pouring in. Strange light, so I know it is you. Okay. I mean, alright then. Door is locked. Oh, man, those guys came out of nowhere. I thought uh, that they'd all kind of come out at one time, but I guess not. You know, the decorator for this place is really choosing some pretty decent uh, pictures, I think, you know. I really like it, you know, I like what they've got. We got a windmill or a house. We got that creepy lady. They were just having a weird party, though. I'm always a fan of seeing bathrooms in video games, and it probably seems like a really, really weird thing, but I've traveled like all over the world, and I have been in some places that have some interesting bathrooms, and so it's always nice to see a bathroom in a video game, because I get to look at it and say, like, I've seen, um, you know, way worse bathrooms, or that it uh, looks functional. That way, if you ever do get stuck, like being transported into a video game world, I want to go into a world that um, has a bathroom. 
Like, I, I don't worry about peeing in the woods, but it's just more about, like, a, the unfamiliarity with the bidet and then just what if there's no toilet paper and... I don't know, I think it, you can... You know a lot about, like, a society if they have functioning bathrooms. I feel. This is a new cross. What is it? Ooh, my weapon's been upgraded? Oh. Oh, it just shoots faster. And now it's white. It must be like really hot now. Kind of like a like white phosphorus. Oh, I'm gonna need like a. I'm gonna need a book to heal myself. I have um. Taken a little bit of damage. I need a secret key, huh? Hmm. Well, what is this? Oh, they 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 have no legs. Oh, you poor guys. I wonder if they're so upset. I don't know why, but it's like whenever there's a game that has like enemies that uh, are really low to the ground or if they fly, they're always like really hard for me to like kill or defeat. Alright, secret key. I mean, maybe the secret room has something positive. I hope so. I hope it has some health, because I am almost dead. What did I get for uh, not being careful enough? Like one of those Jesus take the wheel situations where you realize that Jesus wasn't alive uh, during the time frame uh, that cars existed, and therefore the likelihood that he would know how to use a car is very, very small. So, it just seems like a terrible choice that people would make. Also, it's, it's, I'm gonna just, you know what, actually, never mind, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue the train of thought, son of. No oh, good, my weapon started as upgraded. That's like good news. I wonder if that means I can, like, upgrade it again when I run into, uh... If I run into the, uh, spot again. Really, like, messed up. I think I got, like, too confident because I was, like, just taking care of these guys really fast, and then, uh... They kind of, like, snuck up on me with the dudes crawling on the ground. That doesn't really seem like an upgrade, it seems like the same weapon.
All right, just got to be on the lookout for the dudes who uh, crawl on the ground. And uh, things should go a little bit smoother this time. And that's the secret door. That's how I came in. Oh, I'll find you little creepy dudes. Well, they're definitely weaker than the people who, like, walk. Yeah, see, that's one of the guys that, like, got me... Oh, come on. Really? The dude snuck up behind me? How did I... Oh, well, I got the secret key. Make it to the silly door and... I feel like I've made some wrong turns. I did. I just ended up in like the same place. Actually, I got another key, so it's actually totally worth it. Um, definitely want to go to that secret room. Hopefully I can find it without dying. I don't know if that was a secret door or not. I, I don't, um, I don't know. Oh, a healing book. Happy times. I still think it's funny that the uh, the Bible that we get only heals a little bit. The door is locked and I need a key. Well, um, am I going to have to go back downstairs to the uh, secret key? Like, is that what I'm going to have to do? Is actually find that? Oh, that's unfortunate. If that is the case. But I don't actually see a key anywhere else. So that's probably what's going to happen. Ah. Uh, or is it... This is a familiar situation. And those dudes came out of nowhere. You know, I'm going to hand it to the game's atmosphere. 
like graphically there's not like a huge amount going on like it's pretty you know minimalistic it's almost like a PlayStation 1 style graphics um, but it's really nicely done like I mean it's definitely a creepy vibe of the house I think part of it is because you know we have very limited visibility but there's a lot of little things that happen that um, I think kind of do a good job of kind of giving you this feeling of um, scariness. Like, I personally don't think the game is particularly scary. Like, we just don't have very many enemies that um, are threatening. You know, the, the things that I've run into, you know, a TV turning on. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit surprising, but it's not really what I would consider scary at all. But I think if you're really... Uh, if it's easy for you to be subjected to jump scares, I would imagine it would get you. Oh, here's the last book for this level. I died and got lost, so the, the whole 30-minute idea, I think, um, isn't going to, to happen. Unless this is the third level. Is it the third level? I think it's still the second level. Dang, I didn't get the secret, but I don't remember where it is. I think it was downstairs, and I don't want to have to go all the way back uh, to find it. So, I'm just going to gonna press. You see, Alex said, Sarah's gone, but that isn't what happened first. First was opening your door and knowing before seeing that you had done, or seeing what you had done. Then came the smell, and I knew it was you. I knew you would be lying there, your legs at odd angles. Did you make the cuts while standing up? Did you fall? Weapon has been upgraded. Ooh, good times. Ow, oh, it's it hasn't been upgraded. It's the same thing I just had. It, it just looks like a little different shade of color. Alright, we got a pool of blood. Which I'm assuming is um Oh exciting, it's a teleport. That's unexpected. I'm sorry, my dude. It's like, ugh, I've been hired to come and um, cleanse this house. I'm basically an exterminator. It's nice that they explode into bloody bits, because otherwise it would be really, really hard to explain. I don't even know how they would explain this to the cops. Oh, yeah, don't mind us. Um, we sent uh, Priestia McPriest in, into uh, this house because it uh, needed to get cleansed of some demonic stuff. And, um, yeah, we just exploded everybody. Uh, that's why there's no bodies, and that's why there's all the blood everywhere. There can always be a follow-up to this game where you uh, come through with, like, a pressure washer. Um... And you spray like holy water on everything to clean up all the blood. Actually, that's a that's a that's a really cool idea. I would play that game. So if the developer sees this video, I, you know, I, I it's a very humble request. Make a follow up where you come through with the pressure washer full of holy water to clean the house. I I just personally think that would be. Uh, quite entertaining and hilarious at the same time. I don't know what you'd call it, though. A disposis? The, um... The power of the holy mop? I, I, I don't know. I know it's like a, I don't want to say necessarily a limitation, but I know it's like, you know, part of this general game design that you put enemies throughout the level because it makes sense. Otherwise, the player runs around and, you know, never has anybody to fight up until like certain points and that would get old really fast. However, I always think about it from like a, I guess like a realistic 
standpoint, which obviously makes no sense whatsoever considering I'm playing a game where I run around as a priest um, shooting cross bullets out of my cross gun. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to say is um, it just feels like to me it would make more sense if all, you know, like if you've got like a bunch of enemies in a building and you know like this priest dudes walk around killing everybody like wouldn't you just try to get everybody in one place and overwhelm them I, I feel like that's the answer to solve the problem because it's not like these guys are like protecting specific rooms you know they're not like really doing anything you know they're not oh this dude limboed under uh, but they're not like protecting anything they're just kind of kind of chilling. If anything, they're leading me towards uh, wherever it is they don't want me to go. I definitely wish uh, we would have a little bit more variety with the weapons. I don't know. I just I, I feel like a holy hand grenade. Um, you know, we could oh the the uh, the Bible could have been like a laser gun. The shotgun cross is something I still wish was here. Like it's fine. Don't get me wrong. Like I I think that the weapon is quite acceptable with what we got. I just think it'd be cool. And I think this adventure is getting close to ending. Alright, so I just unlocked the door. Do you think what's back here? Um, maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe that was the door. Okay. I am here and I love you and you have spilled your life on the floor of this room. I am here and you are the sun and perfect as nothing has ever been. And I am here. Time beyond measure passes days and you lie on the earth and Alex says, Sarah's gone. All right, that whole... That whole bit on the store page where it says 30 minutes doesn't really seem so accurate anymore. Either that or it's just... I lack the speedrunning capabilities. Expected in order to, uh, you know, finish the game within 30 minutes. Or maybe I just completely misread it and it's not finishing it within 30 minutes and it's... Um, like each of these... Levels could be finished within 30 minutes. That doesn't seem right either. Oh, I like those shadows. Oh, we get the update. We upgraded our stuff and now it's gold. Now you know it's powerful. Because if there's one thing the church likes more than slaying demons, <laughs> is money. <laughs> that's... Oh, man. That's... That's so uncalled for. But it's true, though. I mean, like... If you think about it, you got, like, uh, billionaire pastors and stuff. Hey, you know, and then people still give them money. And you got billionaire pastors, you got churches that spend millions upon millions of dollars. Uh, not 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 for helping people, but for um, paying lawyers and legal fees to deal with uh, things like sexual assault. So, yeah, I, I think I stand by the fact that I would say that uh, churches actually really like money.
And to think if they hadn't cheaped out on giving this guy like some better crucifix powers, uh, he'd, be, he'd be having a bit of a better time. Dang, I really wanted to run him into the poltergeist lights. Sweet, a book. I don't know what door they're saying is locked. I didn't even see one. It's very misleading at times. Like, I think I see something, but it's not anything. Wow. Oh, yeah, I use the power of chairs and tables to um, keep myself safe. And if that's one thing I have learned, is if you place something in front of them. Uh, you know, it makes it harder for them to get to you. So. Very helpful. Right, key in hand. Making some progress. This room looks pretty important. Ooh, what do we got here? Some water. That's a, that's a new thing. Okay, another key. Oh, it would suck if I could fall down here without grabbing the key. Um, I don't remember where the door is. Was it was it down here? I guess I better check before moving onward. That was just a stroke of luck. Oh, I really dislike those guys. Like, I don't have anything wrong with, you know, like, I, I, I think it's perfectly acceptable if you choose to, like, kind of scurry along the floor. Like, that's fine. I mean, it's, a, it's an odd choice, I think, because, you know, if you got legs... And you're capable of walking? Wouldn't it make more sense to walk on your feet and stuff? I don't know, but not the point. Um, I I just definitely think that um, I don't know. Maybe instead of shooting these guys, we should find a way to hook these guys up with like a wheelchair or something. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, they almost got me, but no. Well, the power of hiding was too strong for them. They did kind of drop me in a room full of enemies, so, like, I feel like that was like a spot that was, you know, potentially supposed to end in, you know, absolute sorrow like that song by that one group and that looks like it leads us to the next room so away we go to explore another floor oh they rhymed exploring floor My English teacher from, like, high school would probably be very proud of me uh, for forming a rhyme. Okay. 
Okay, can't go over that. Secret door key, which I don't have. I've only found a secret key once. So either they're really well hidden, or I'm just not quite observant enough to find them. I guess it could be either of those, perhaps both. Part of me is very curious to know what would be behind those secret doors. And the other part of me isn't really too concerned because I'm just happy to kind of work my way through to find these dudes. Uh, and there's the door that takes us downstairs. What will we find? What's another level? How many levels are there? I, I, let's see. It looks like there are... We've only got a couple of achievements left. Um, but yeah, it's got to be pretty close to the... Um, to the end here. Alright, anyway. A moment passes and I am 50, still scrubbing at the stain. I am 50 and you crawl from the earth, break open my house, strange light yours in, a strange light pours in, and I know it is you. You know, I think if we took that, you know, all of whatever the saying is that, that's been going on and put it all combined into one very long sentence, it would be pretty cool. You are far from the sight of your god priest. Am I though? Who are you? Prepare to witness the fall of your faith. Hello, Mr. Guy. Oh, his name is Charles Williams. Oh, my, um, my cross shoots pretty fast now. I think I have to kind of try to avoid the stuff that's falling from this, from the roof. Oh, no. He's spawned on a bunch of enemies like every boss ever. I think I find like enemy bosses less threatening when they have to spawn in, you know, additional enemies to, um, you know, help essentially. Alright, let's keep that one dude alive. Eh, uh, never mind. Alright, uh, this is gonna take some time to do. I wouldn't say it's like an overly difficult uh, boss battle, but we don't really do a whole lot of damage. works really well. Just keep shooting them in the testicles. <laughs> Trying to think of like what's going to be the best way to do this. They run faster than these guys.
this boss battle is um, a little bit on the uh, less than thrilling side. Yeah, hooray. I guess we'll get to do it again. I guess it's like my bad for like trying to like do some stuff, but I don't know. I think that's like a little frustrating. It just takes too long to like to fight this dude. Like, I mean, I do not do enough damage. And then the time it takes uh, once he spawns his dudes to uh, kill them. Eh, it's a little bit... I think disappointing as well. Those two dudes are just standing there, so I would like to keep them standing there. I mean, I do think I have the general gist of how this is supposed to work. This is like annoying. We'll try it one more time. I'll be honest with you, like I am the kind of person that when I play a game, I play it until I stop having fun. And I have to say this boss battle, I'm not enjoying like at all. It just takes a really long time to do. Um, you know, when you put that many enemies on the screen at a time, you really start to notice like how slow your gun is and when your gun is so slow and you have to fight a whole bunch of enemies while avoiding being shot from different places it just kind of sucks the fun out for me so so like I said you know I'm gonna try this one last time but I, I don't really have any incentive to to actually kill the boss because uh, I don't want to have to spend any time doing this particular battle because I don't like it. Quite lame. Yep. Dunsies, man. So, like, I i mean, up until, like, you get to the very end of the game, like, I, I had a good time, but... Yeah, that boss battle is, like, some nonsense hot garbage to me. Like, it's not fun at all. Like, I don't... Like, I mean, it's basically, like, throwing pebbles at a boss. Like, it's a giant sponge while being surrounded by a bunch of enemies. Fighting them with uh, the world's weakest crucifix. I mean... Up until that point, I have had a great time. I really do enjoy the game overall. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's totally worth the price. Like, it's not expensive. It's, like, under five bucks. Uh, it's actually three dollars. So, I mean, it's super cheap for what you're going to get. It is overall pretty fun. Um, 
I just hate the boss battle or the boss battle. So you know, I'm just going to move on with life. Um, that's the beauty of buying games. You just get to quit when you want. Uh, so anyway, that is the end of this video. Disposes the adventures of Priesty McPriestycles. <laughs>